Find us online at GGCheckWire.com. That's J I C G Y G U A R dot com. The place to be is right where you have it. Get a hold of us online over there at GGCheckWire.com. My question is, why in the world are you listening to this show? <laughs> that is that is the question that I have for folks that listen to the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio broadcast. Why in the world do you listen to this show? That's that's the question that I have for you. Why in the world do you do this? Why do you listen to us? Each and every day at JiggyJaguar.com. Why do you listen to the show? From time to time, I like to look at the numbers. And I may do that with Dan Perkins in our next hour. Figure out just exactly what the hell is going on. But uh, in this broadcast, we'll talk to Frank Fernuccio. We'll also talk to Lynette Eddy, who is supposed to join us. Lynette Eddie. We have an interview with Lynette Eddy today. She has a brand new book. And um we will talk to Lynette Eddy. She is the author of The Fight Inside. So that will be bone chilling. No, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be bone chilling or not. I don't know if it will be bone chilling or not. That would be that would be awesome if I could have a bone chilling interview. But I think the last time I had a bone chilling interview might have been when I interviewed that Julius Caesar guy way back in the day when I was working at KSKU here in Hutchinson. When I interviewed Julius Caesar, when he called me up and he said, I'm Julius Caesar. Do you like the porno? I don't know if he, I don't know if he said that during that interview. I don't know if Julius Caesar asked me if I liked porno during that interview. (laughs) Uh, Do you like the porno? That's, that's the big question. That's the question that I think everybody has. Do you like the porno? That's what I want to know. That's what that that's what that beep is for. It's asking, it's pondering, it's getting it out there, it's doing all the things that it does. That it does. What does it do? Well, it does it. <laughs> Get a hold of us online over there at jiggyjagwire.com. I was watching Alex Jones today, and he apparently has a green screen now, and he has these can headphones, like all, all, all broadcasters, all, all good broadcasters should wear the can headphones, the cans as they call them. That is what people should be wearing nowadays instead of those, those earbud things. I don't even really like wearing those earbud things to the gym. I just don't know. I just don't like things in my ear. I, I, I think that's the problem that I have is that I just don't like it in my ear. So. But we have got Frank Fernuccio coming up. We will talk to him. He will be with us. Uh, last week we were not on with Renuccio because of me being sick. Right there. I yawned. I yawned. I yawned. I yawned. I don't know what that means. (laughs) So we are going to go to Colonel Mills. He is going to join us, uh, Pre-taped interview I did with him right now. Welcome back to... And uh, we are going to go to our 
next guest who's going to join us here on the Big Broadcast. Lynette Eddy is going to be with us. She has got the fight inside. I can make some joke about Mexican food, the fight inside. She is the founder of Eddie House, eddiehouse.org, lynetteddy.com. And we are going to go to Lynette Eddy. She is going to join us on the venerable Skippa Skypa here in just a few. Oh, the Skippa Skypa, as Johnny would say. The fantastic Johnny Kim. The biggest star in this business, Johnny Kim. He's not the biggest star in the business, he's pretty close. He ought to get out of the business, as far as I'm concerned, but that's neither here nor there. So we are going to go to Lynette Eddy. <laughs> Lynette Eddy, hello. I'm going to go to Lynette Eddy and see if Lynette Eddy will join us. Lynette, can you hear us, my friend? Yes, I can. How are you? I uh, am excited to talk to you about the book, The Fight Inside. How are you today? I'm wonderful, and thank you for having me on your show. I so, appreciate that. Tell me a little bit about The Fight Inside. It is a fantastic book. Well, it's, um, it's basically the fight we all have going inside our minds <laughs> with our thoughts between the inner critic and the inner coach. And, um, you know, I tell a little bit. I start the book with my background uh my husband died by suicide in 2010, and I took that negative, dark time and turned it into something positive, and I created a nonprofit for at-risk and homeless youth that serves, we served over thousands of kids to this day, and um, it's a national model. But I used my inner coach and ignored my inner critic through the whole process <laughs> because there were many times where my inner critic was telling me I wasn't good enough, smart enough, all that, and, you know, what are you doing? And then my inner coach, which I call the spirit, was saying, this is what you need to do. You're, you need to get this done. So that's pretty much a uh, little bit of a summary. That's awesome. But I go into the, yes, and I pretty much break down what the ego is and, you know, what our spirit is and um, how we can recognize the two voices in our daily life. That is awesome. We have got Lynette Eddy with us today. Check out LynetteEddy.com for more information. She has a fantastic, fantastic new book. And she joins us today here on our big, big program. So take me through your writing process for this book. Well, I just, you know, after I uh, had my nonprofit up running and just, you know, really doing great, great work, I always had this, this um, message inside of me of what I had witnessed with my late husband. His ego took over. And eventually the suffering that he was going through in his mind led him to take his life. Mm. And, you know, I was, I was finishing my graduate degree in social work and I'd taken a lot of clinical psychology classes and um, therapy and all that. And I couldn't diagnose him from what they call the DSM. It's a psychiatrist, you know, Bible for diagnosing. And he didn't fit any of the criteria, and I just knew it was he let his ego just go wild. He used to be a simple man and enjoyed, you know, the pleasures in life, and then he got into a lot of money and finance and, you know, had to, you know, just have the best and the most, never satisfied. And then I found out later he had girlfriends and gambling and, you know, and – and um, my gut just told me that's what it was. 
We have got a great guest with us today, he joins us live here on our big broadcast. Lynette Eddy is with us. She is the author of The Fight Inside. She's also the founder of Eddie House. Check out eddiehouse.org, and the official website is lynetteddy.com. So this book, incredibly well written. Take me through, what are some of your goals for this book? Well, the goal of the book is to help help the reader help all the re you know we're all just human beings and we all deal with that negative voice every day and if we can learn to manage our thoughts it's a game changer because our thoughts determine our choices our actions and basically where our life is headed so it's you know it's huge <laughs> if if you can learn the mechanics you know just learn the traps of the ego and be aware of them, witness them when they show up and just let them go. And also the, the self-reflection each, each of us needs to do to clean out those inner, those wounds we have buried, you know, like trauma or whatever, whatever it is that we cover up and it gets triggered at times. And we're like, Whoa, where'd that come from? You know, and <laughs> you just kind of have to really learn to, um, understand your thoughts where they're coming from which ones serve you well which ones don't and learn to ignore the ones that don't serve you well and you can do it you can totally do it it's called neuroplasticity we can change the way we think about everything we have the power wow we have got a great guest joins us today here on our big broadcast Coast to coast, border to border on iHeartRadio today. Lynette Eddy is with us. LynetteEddy.com is the official website. Go over and pick up her incredible brand new book, The Fight Inside. So what do you want readers to take away from your writing of this book, The Fight Inside? Well, I'd love them to, you know, do some self-reflection and take the lessons I have in the book to heart and it will it's a game changer i mean i've had so many people tell me that it has made a huge difference in their life and it's made a huge difference in my life i mean i fall into the traps of the ego i'm not perfect but it, nowhere near i you know how i used to or you know the stories we tell ourselves the rabbit holes we go down, you know, someone looks at us weird and we're like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I say? And you know, and then you just find out later it was had nothing to do with you. There's just so many examples, you know, like how we compare ourselves with others, how we judge ourselves, how we judge others. It's, it's, um, these are things we, it's a lot of unnecessary psychological suffering we put on ourselves and we can stop it if we choose to. Yes, yes, we have got a great guest with us today. She joins us live here in our broadcast. Lynette Eddy is with us. LynetteEddy.com is the official website. So, Lynette, what's next for you as an author? Well, I'm, uh, you know, I've just finished. It took me about close to five years to write this, and it just came out. <laughs> so now I'm in this place where, okay, what's next, you know? Um, you know, I have so many ideas for a second one. I have, have had requests to start, get that going. Because um, this, this is a really deep subject. And uh, with depression on the rise, suicide, anxiety, you know, we, um, we need it. We need these, um, we need these lessons. And, um, and I talk about the collective ego and the collective spirit and how it affects, the, you know, our systems and social systems and, you know, the way the world is. But if we can individually control our personal egos and, you know, tamp down on the collective ego, a lot of positive changes can happen in the world. I know that sounds pretty trippy and lofty, but it's, it's true. You know, Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. It's, um, it's true. It starts from our mind, our thoughts, everything. 
<laughs> we have got a great guest with us today. Joins us live here on our big broadcast, talking a little bit about uh, just an incredible, incredible book. So, what are you hoping f- folks get out of this book? Well, to to understand that they do have a choice, which voice to listen to, and how to live a more authentic life. And I also I offer a toolbox in the um, book on ways you can live a more authentic life, true to yourself and not your ego. You know, it's um, it was at Bonnie Ware. She's a hospice nurse, and she wrote a book about the the five top regrets hospice patients have at the end of life, and number one was they wish they had lived a life that they wanted to live, not what others expected her expected them to live. And, um, you know, we all need to, to live from our spirits and not from our egos. And, um, that's really what I'm hoping the readers can get out of this. Yeah. And also follow your dreams. You know, like I said, I started this, nonprofit, but I say it, it's helped thousands of homeless and at risk youth. And I battled between my ego and spirit through the whole process. You know, I didn't know what I was doing when I started it. And now it's a national model. And, um, if I didn't tap into my spirit, it wouldn't have happened because there were just too many challenges that I would have given up on or, you know, um, the, that voice that just, you know, makes you insecure, tells you, you know, what are you doing? You're not good enough, that kind of thing. But I chose to just be strong in my spirit and just battle through it, and it happened. So we're, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. We just did. So, um, and we've grown so big that we... Um, we're on a roll. <laughs> We're going to help every kid. And I teach this to the kids that come in. We have, you know, I do these group therapy sessions with the homeless kids, and I I talk to them about learning to manage their mind and have better choices and that kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, what, what are you hoping uh, readers get out of the book? Well, you know, just to pay attention to their thoughts. And, you know, rather than get dragged around by your thoughts, take control. Like when you start having those negative thoughts, you do have the power to turn them around. And I'm not just saying like, you know, just, oh, turn your negative thought into a positive thought. It's not that easy. You know, you have to learn the traps. You have to learn the patterns that your, your mind will go, you know, develop that cause, cause unnecessary psychological suffering. And then once, you, once you're aware of these thoughts popping up, when they do, you can just be like, whoa, okay, that was my ego. Like, let it go. Ignore it. And then eventually, rather than being controlled by your ego and dragged around all day, by your ego, the thoughts, you're in the, you know, you're in the driver's seat and you can just be like, uh, you know what? I don't, I choose not to go there and, um, I'm only going to go by my spirit and, and, um, my inner coach. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, before we let you go, how do we get in touch with you online through social media, all these various places? Well, my website, LynetteEddy.com, and I have, um, you know, my email. Anyway, I would welcome any comments about the book, questions, anything, anything your listeners um, would want to talk about. You can contact me through my email, and um, that's on the website, and I would love to hear your thoughts. And um, any questions, yeah. Yeah, it would be great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on our big program and chatting with us. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Really appreciate the time and uh, 
have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it. There <laughs> she care. goes, the fantastic Lynette Eddy with us today. We are going to take a time out. When we come back, we have got more coming up. We're going to try to hunt down Frank Vernuccio and see, uh, see just where the hell he is. we got more coming up.